Regardless of whether you're a fan of horror games or not, chances are you've heard of Amnesia at the Dark Descent before. I mean, this game is an absolute legend in the horror genre, being a staple and a definite trendsetter for many games that came after it. Well, if you've ever had the chance to explore the dimly lit, gloomy innards of Brennenburg Castle, chances are you quickly realize that you're not alone. A creak in the floorboards here, an unsettling animal-like growl there, and before you knew, this happened. Now being the rational and brave individual that you are, you probably uninstalled the game, turned on all the lights and cried yourself to sleep. No, really? Just me? Anyways, what you just encountered was one of the so-called gatherers, servants of Alexander of Brandenburg, and more specifically, the Grunt. In today's video, I'll be taking a look at all the information we know about these creatures, their behavior, appearance, and most importantly, how to avoid them and stay alive in their presence. So, without any further ado, grab your tinderboxes, fill up your lantern, and let's go. Now the so-called Servant Grunt is the weaker and much more commonly encountered of the two types of gatherers that appear throughout the game, and while not as powerful as its counterpart, the Brute, it still can be a considerable threat if you come across it unprepared. As with all the enemies and other scary occurrences in the game, looking at this creature for too long will reduce sanity, so I would strongly advise against it, and even then, it's not like there is that much to look at. In terms of appearance, the Grunt is a humanoid being with seemingly pieced or stitched together body, which has clearly identifiable scar-like wounds and stitches all across, and seems to almost be held together by a few tightly knit bandages around its arms, legs, and torso. Now one of the most iconic things about their appearance is their completely destroyed and dislocated jaw, which almost comically stretches down all the way to their torso adding to the grotesque appearance of their malformed head, which, if observed closely, still has a few clumps of hair sticking out the back. Now interestingly enough, even though its right arm seems to still have all its five fingers, the left arm seems to have been cruelly augmented with metal blades, which now serve as the creature's primary weapon. Now in most cases, it is that arm which appears bloody at the end, which only leads to two possible conclusions that either the Grunt has attacked other enemies before the player, or that the incorporation of the blades into the arm causes the Grunt to bleed and suffer additional damage. Now, in terms of its movement, while it might appear slow and not very coordinated when observed from a distance, once this creature notices you, it has absolutely no problems with springing into a fairly brisk pace that requires Daniel to sprint away in order to be outrun. As far as their behavior and intelligence goes, this is fairly questionable. In most cases, when you encounter them, they will enter an area with a loud growl which can be heard, and if they do not have an immediate visual contact with the player, they will continue to patrol the area for a little bit before running away. Now, if they hear the player or catch a glimpse of them in an area, they will proceed to that place to investigate, and if they get a direct line of sight, they will attempt to charge at the player swinging with their blade augmented arm and attempting to kill them. Now while you might expect something which such a hideous face and lower jaw would probably be unable to produce any type of sound, you might actually be surprised as they are still capable of emitting a range of guttural growls, hisses and all kinds of different noises. And if you pay close attention, some of these even sound like garbled up real English words, such as I see you or there you are upon discovering your presence. <laughs> now, I'm probably not the only player who can attest to always having their stomach drop to the floor upon hearing this sound. But for a smart and well prepared player, this does not have to be the end of it. Because of their seemingly low intelligence, breaking the line of sight with these enemies is a fantastic way to confuse them and gain some distance in either your escape or in an attempt to find a place to hide. In fact, with some objects, if the player holds them against their face, blocking the direct line of sight to the enemy, the gatherer might become confused 
and proceed to ignore the player and investigate the rest of the area. Of course, if you get into a really tight spot, you have nowhere to run and you need to go around this creature, you can always pick up an object and throw it at it, causing it to stumble for a few brief moments, giving you a chance to run around and find a better place to hide. If you don't, then you can expect a very swift treatment with its bladed arm that will leave you dead and in the need of a load from a previous save. Now we know a lot about these guys in terms of how they appear in the game, but let's talk about some trivia and some potential origin stories for these creatures. Now while it is never explicitly stated how these creatures came to being, it is very strongly implied that these enemies were once soldiers who drank a wine that was poisoned by Alexander, causing their innards to essentially explode out of them, turning them into these creatures. My god, Wilhelm, do something! Except we're not getting out of here. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> Other people have also theorized that this would make sense because considering their soldier-like stature, they would make for a good powerful servant, but also being a soldier they might be more used to pain and so they wouldn't be an ideal test subject for the extraction of Vitae, which is the main goal of Alexander's within the game. It is also shown that Alexander clearly has quite a bit of power with these loyal creatures when he explicitly orders them to stop Daniel from continuing forward with your mission, leading to the eventual capture in the chancel and him being locked up in the cells. It is also true that in his diary, Daniel mentions the presence of sneaky and skulking servants in and around the castle. However, it is unknown whether at that point these servants were already the Grant and the Gatherers, simply covered by cloaks to hide up their hideous bodies, or whether they were regular humans back then. Also, interesting observation, that these creatures appear to be struggling to breathe, as if one or both of its lungs have been somewhat damaged by the disfigurement to its body, and even more so, in some situations it almost sounds like it is crying, leading us to think that maybe its current condition is causing it a lot of suffering. <laughs> Now, as far as the final pieces of information, you might be asking, where can I encounter these creatures? And the answer is in quite a few places. In fact, some, specifically the prison parts, are completely filled with encounters with these creatures. However, if you want at least a little bit of assurance, you can know that the first few encounters with the gatherers are in most cases harmless and purely visual, getting you accustomed to the enemy and unless you deliberately sprint at it, are no real threat to you. So, to wrap this up, even though these creatures might remain some of gaming's most horrifying encounters, and even years after the release of Amnesia, their visuals and characteristics are still striking and iconic, at least now, if you decide to reinstall that game and give it another shot, you'll know exactly what's in store for you and what will give you an eventual heart attack. But anyways, with that, I want to thank you guys for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe because you're leaving a like, commenting or subscribing, all of those would be very much appreciated. I want to wish you all a beautiful rest of today and I'll see you in whatever next video I make. Bye bye.